Hello? Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CobbleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Several irrigation contractors in Lincoln go out of business every year, leaving sprinkler system orphans begging for service. The folks at Judson Irrigation shed a tear for these little fellas. They've been coddling these orphans for more than 40 years. From redesign, repairing, replacing, and restoring, remember the Judson Irrigation Orphanage. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or JudsonIrrigation.com. 24-7 threat monitoring, expert tech support, streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security, Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications, cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here as the Big Eight Tournament Champion. Middle school basketball coaching legend and new basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, on air and online at theticketfm.com. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. Welcome to it, a social media only version of On the Block. I'm Austin Norman, joined by the Husker Hall of Famer, the nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Um, Strick, you want to hold up your poster again for people? Oh. It's over here around the corner. Um, so for those of you that, that might have missed old school yesterday, we got to give a big shout out to our friends at A1 Automotive, Kendall Warnock. He uh, he swung by yesterday with a big old package for Stricky. It, it's really neat. Really appreciate Kendall for that. Um, well, that camera right in front of me there, Stricky, if you can, potentially. Yeah. Put it right in front of my face. Around? Yeah, he may as well. Um, well, Strick makes his way around. Big thanks to Kendall for, for this. It, it's really neat. 
um, um, sign, poster, hangable, pretty much all of Strick's career achievements are on it. it it's metal. It's substantial. Yeah, Stricky's got it there. Picture of the court and everything. Perfect, Stricky. Um, Rick Stein Recognition helped put that together just down the block from us. So big thanks to Kendall uh, for, for bringing that in for Stricky. You can see the man himself there at the very top and Huskers. And, and Stricky, yesterday you were saying your favorite thing was three-time all defense, right, in terms of the accomplishments at the bottom? Yeah. It has a lot of it on there. Yeah, it has a lot of it on there. Um, it talks about, you know, the career that I had, um, being the MVP, the national invitational, um, fifth all time in three point field goals made, um, uh, fifth in assists, uh, a thousand point score, um, led as I led the team in 95, 96 in scoring as well as steals. And, um, you know, I was second in all time steals. It gives all that stuff. But I really enjoyed the fact that, you know, being all big eight defensive team for three years was was pretty cool. Yeah, pretty dope. Once again, thanks to Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive, for bringing that in. Josh Davis. Josh Davis. There we go. Josh Davis for, for putting it together, making it happen. Oh, we see Rico in the background. Uh, join us on stream here. I uh, appreciate you guys tapping in. The Royals are on the airwaves right now. Just putting it on the Astros. It was 9 nothing after the first inning. And it stayed there. I think they're into the fourth inning by now. Yeah, it's still uh, and nine to one. I guess Houston did get on the board. So, hey, the boys are staying hot. Lots to get to on today's show, including an update on the Kentucky men's basketball coaching search. Two options have already said no. Why would they say no? What does it mean that they said no? Where does Kentucky go from there? And a lot of college football on today's docket as well. Maybe some Major League Baseball talk. Definitely some NBA tomorrow as we're starting to wind down the regular season. 402-464-5685. If you would like to be a part of On the Block, brought to you by Nebco. Nebco's operations span the state of Nebraska and supply the construction industry with the materials needed to construct buildings, streets, and highways since 1908. It's a fourth-generation, family-owned and operated business with over 1,200 employees and 26 companies throughout Nebraska. All right, Strick, the news of the day, the juice. Passes away, I believe, age 76 due to cancer and an unfortunate loss. Um, you know, it, it is anytime you know someone passes away like that, and really a, an icon in a lot of ways. We know everything with with the the white Bronco chase and the trial and all of that, but I don't know OJ the player, right? He's, he's before my time. I know he was really good, but you would have seen some of pri- some OJ, right? Tail end of his career, probably. Yeah. Who was O.J. Simpson, the football player? Well, shoot. I mean, let's let's be real about O.J. Simpson uh, for his career had over 11,000 yards, uh, 4.7 average. He was um, tall, strong. I would say he's probably as close as you can get to Jim Brown mm. in in style, except probably a little bit more fleety in foot. Um, so it, it, to me, if I can say it for old school football players, to me, he was like a combination of Jim Brown and Marcus Allen. So Marcus Allen probably wasn't as physical as as him, but tall, strong, lanky, but good, good, you know, good, good feet. So I would say he was a good combination of that. But o, OJ was, um, you know, ended up having a great career afterwards in movies and and um, you know, doing doing a lot of that and commercials and um, but yeah, it it's it's you know unfortunate. I, I would say if you just look at the landscape of the day, just how uh, I was having, and I hate this. I hate having political talks with folks because I'm apolitical. But then if you have here's the cra- the crazy thing about politics of the day: if you have a thought or an opinion. You're you're basically siloed. No matter what, if if the opinion of, of you weighing the scales, and I'm I'm going somewhere with this, this is why I'm saying this. There's an opinion of you weighing the scales on a specific situation where you're taking into account information, information, and then making a decision. That's usually how things work. Right now, there are times when people decide to jump into a silo, and you're you're either tribal or whatever the case. There's all of these different elements of it. 
But at the same time, I'm saying this to say everybody had a thought and opinion, but got to see it for their for themselves mm-hmm. on what happened in the OJ case. I, I and I said what I said about the landscape of the day is it's very divisive, right? And back then, that was one of the things in that time frame of when that when that occurred that you saw saw a lot of divisiveness in people thought one way, people thought another, um, and and would argue you down on one side or the other, right? And so he was a part of of setting in motion. I mean. I, I I don't know if it's gotten that bad. There was probably two elements of super divisiveness that when you look at the landscape of today, that is kind of the culmination of, of what it is like, kind of like a volcano. It's like it lies dormant and then something will happen and boom, it'll pop up. That was one of the things that set it off. You know, you had mm-hmm. that, then you had Rodney King, you know, those situations back there. And then they bubble and then you boom, you know, certain things happen. And this is why I hate the news. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I enjoy doing what we're doing because we can sit here and we can take into information and we can discuss topics and, and, and sports to me is a unifying thing. It should be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It should be right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's elements at times where, you know, you start doing stupid stuff where it make, it makes, it creates division for no reason. Like mm-hmm. you, it should be something that unifies all parties because to me, it's one of the things that barriers are broken down where, you know, brothers can become brothers in arms of mm-hmm. fighting for something greater than themselves or the team. Right. So yeah, OJ was just part of that. And so he was, he was a tremendous player in his day. And uh, I, 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 w- I would say his career probably could have even been longer i don't know for sure if it was injury or not but um just decided to take another another um you know lay in life and going off and doing la types of things for sure so oj simpson passes away a family put out a statement on social media yeah (laughs) hall of famer mvp heisman runner-up heisman winner in college you gave the numbers and the off the court off the field you know aspects too and Strick, the last thing for the segment is you've transitioned from being a pro athlete to, you know, the next phase of your life and your career. That can be a hard transition to make. And the fact that OJ was able to go from from sports to, to acting and everything else he was doing, honestly, he did it pretty seamlessly. And w- what does that speak to in terms of like who OJ was as a person? Well, it's just it's it's one of the hardest things to do is when the lights turn off to know that you're off stage, Mm. right? Um, And I I say it from this perspective. There are guys who have done movies that engross themselves so deeply into the part that it's hard for them when the movie's done and it wraps to even get out of that. It's like something... Method acting? Takes over them to where they can't, they're, they're for a period of time, maybe sometimes you need counseling just to get sports is very similar. Mm-hmm. When you turn off the lights, it's tough for people for all that you've known. This, I mean, this is, I think where you have issues in marriage and you have other issues because there's such a routine on how things were done. There's time, there's space. There's, there's there, when, you know, some people love being in the light and some people are okay with being in the background. And he did a good job of transitioning himself into other elements of business and life. Um, But unfortunately got caught in the elements. Look, some say he's guilty. Some say he's not. Some look at the evidence and say this. Some say he knows and some say that. But the fact remains is that regardless of how you feel about it, I always look at people for the work that they did because it's, 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 you know, you I can't judge an actor for what he did on screen and what he does in his private life when he's at home. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I may love Johnny Depp's work on. I can't, I can't judge him by 
his work on what he by did Jack off. Sparrow. Yeah, I, know. I, I I can't. So what he did on the field was was tremendous. What he did in other elements was was good. What happened in that situation, I don't know. We don't know. It was judged accordingly, and then it was civilly judged. But no one still knows. Mm-hmm. Some speculate that he knows what happened. But look, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge him in the work that he did on the field by what transpired in that that situation because we're all human. We're all capable of falling into any situation or circumstance that I would hope that, you know, when I look at that plaque, that stands, Mm. all of that stands, regardless of what may transpire or happen with me in here in the ticket. It's different from when I was on the ticket. And when I was there, I hope you don't judge me by what, by that, what I did by anything I may say here on the ticket or whatever the case may be. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, don't, it doesn't take away from the work. It doesn't. And here's the thing. As much as I'm sure he seemed like Superman on the field, you know, big as he was, fast as he was, he was human like the rest of us. Made mistakes a lot publicly than a lot of us will ever make our mistakes. Yeah. And cancer got him, right? Again, that's just a human universal that no matter what you think of the guy before, he was 76 up there, but not necessarily old, old and cancer. So it can happen to anyone, um, which is family the best OJ Simpson gone before his 77th birthday. We'll take a break. We'll talk some more college football here in a little bit, but uh, the other news of the day is that Scott drew and Dan Hurley have told Kentucky. No, on their head coaching search. What does that mean for those two? What does it mean for those schools? We'll get into that and more in our next segment. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Unearth the secret to long lasting tires at Treads Central Tire Pros, a league apart in commitment, service, and expertise. This isn't just about rubber meeting the road, but trust, safety, and surety converging in perfect harmony. This is where expectations are exceeded every time. Make your appointment today at Treads Central Tire Pros, just south of Cortland on Highway 77 or visit our website to explore our services. Remember, when it comes to tires, choose Tread Central Tire Pros because we tread differently. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey, Nebraska. Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. If you've experienced a sports injury, joint, or back pain, trust your care to Nebraska Orthopedic Center, a proud platinum partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Hi, my name is Molly Party. I'm a realtor with MP Dodge Real Estate. I'm a newly licensed agent and considered numerous brokerages before deciding on MP Dodge. I chose the company that gives me the most support in my new career, plus guidance and encouragement along the way. MP Dodge has a unique mentoring program for new agents. It's helped jumpstart my career and has a supportive management team and administrative staff. So if you're contemplating a career in real estate, look no further than MP Dodge. It will be the best decision you make. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, 
Our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Hello, hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CobbleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Several irrigation contractors in Lincoln go out of business every year, leaving sprinkler system orphans begging for service. The folks at Judson Irrigation shed a tear for these little fellas. They've been coddling these orphans for more than 40 years. From redesign, repairing, replacing, and restoring, remember the Judson Irrigation Orphanage. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. 24-7 threat monitoring, expert tech support, streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security, Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications, cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Yes, yes, yes. It is a thirsty Thursday. You know how Stricky gets excited about that. <laughs> They've already started without me. I'm not happy about it. My partner didn't even, you know, save me one. Yeah, we did. It's in back. Oh, he did. I'll see if I can find it for you. There it is. Um, but we're going to get into some. <laughs> Listen, um, thank you guys for tapping in. Obviously, we're only on stream only right now at this point. But that is a OK because we love you guys and we appreciate you guys. Continuous support of On the Block here two to four each and every day, but there's some things going on out there in the landscape. And we're just going to dig into this topic in a, in, in a, in a little different way than just the surface of the topic right now. It's, it has been said that Scott drew who was at Baylor, he was asked and he was basically university of Kentucky and Stricky yesterday. And I think even the day before earlier this week, I said to myself, as we were digging into this topic before it really hit and before Calipari even let us let it be known or before even Kentucky released it, you know, the information to where they could then go and talk to another uh, college coach that we threw names out there. He was one of the ones you threw out. But in it, I said that if there was anybody in the Big 12, I said they should bounce immediately. Mm -hmm. 
So Scott Drew basically just kicked my words in the can, shot it in the trash, and hit for three. And <laughs> how does it feel? And it, 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 I feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel quite dirty. But Scott Drew basically has said no, 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 and I'm not talking about Destiny's Child. He didn't say no, <laughs> no. He said no to Kentucky, which a lot of us believed and thought that that was a premier, top tier. Alabama-ish type of job. And this is where we're going to dig into this topic. So we'll start there because in the same, in the same token, Hurley, mm. who we talked about. And I said, if I'm Hurley, the first thing I'm doing, and then Nick kind of gave an even better assessment of jumping on the plane. I said, send the plane home. I got a flight delay that I need to take <laughs> <laughs> and land in Lexington. And then Nick said, we just need to sit on the, if I just went, sat on the tarmac for a minute, just to show my plane was in Lexington. I ain't got to get off the plane, but I can just refuel and refuel in Lexington and basically just, just use it as leverage. Uh, Hurley is set to receive, guess what? Part of the leverage. We don't know what the leverage was. We don't know if his plane landed or not, but he's, he's due to receive a, a pay increase. But here's the thing. The topic is, we thought... Alabama, Kentucky, women's basketball, UConn. Mm -hmm. We think those to be the premier opportunities and jobs that any coach, if the call came from these specific locations, would be nipping at the bud, chattering at their fingernails, jumping mm -hmm. on the first smoke, the first thing smoking out of town to get down there. But I loved your perspective. Dig into that a little bit as to what you think. Is it still premier or are coaches looking at it a little bit differently these days? It has to be still a premier job, at least, if not the premier job. I think some people would look at them turning Kentucky down and say, you're scared. You're scared of the limelight. You're, you're, you're too comfortable where you're at. Why don't you want to challenge yourself at Kentucky? I don't think that argument applies quite as much for, for Dan Hurley because his family is rooted deep up there in the Northeast, uh, the way his dad won at the high school ranks. Uh, his brother is a legend up. I mean, Dan went to Seton Hall, didn't mm -hmm. play a lot, but it has really made his name up there in Rhode Island and now at UConn. I can get where that's maybe a better cultural fit for Dan Hurley. And maybe not everyone has a price. It, it, Kentucky is not going to offer him $25 million a year to coach, right? They can't break the bank to that level. They shouldn't break the bank to that level. I don't think there's a coach on the planet worth overpaying by that much for right. Kentucky. It sounds like made a strong offer somewhere between 11 and 12 and a half million dollars per year, just for his initial starting base salary for anywhere between five and eight years. That's a really good offer. Like that's not just competitive. That's Kentucky saying, you know, taking Dan Hurley up on the hill and say, everything you see can be yours, but I can understand where Dan Hurley's like, Nope, I'm close to home. I like what I have built here. It's kind of in my image, right? I, I made it my own. After uh, you know Jim Calhoun did his thing, Kevin Ollie got his couple titles. Then it did take Dan Hurley a couple years to get UConn up and going. Who was the the leading scorer on the last team to beat UConn in the NCAA tournament? Strick. Who's the last team to beat UConn? Yeah, Kentucky. Who? New Mexico State. Oh, wow. and Teddy Allen in twenty twenty two. Yep, twenty twenty two. Teddy Allen beat UConn. That's the last time they lost in an NCAA wow. tournament. Which is wild to think about, but I can understand. That's wild it, to think about. You think about Teddy buckets? Yeah, yeah. So I can understand Dan Hurley telling Kentucky no. Throw UConn in the blue blood conversation; they're probably there. Scott Drew telling Kentucky no. That fascinates me. It's Baylor. It's Baylor. Stricky, that was a program yeah. basically on probation. Like we we talk a lot about the problems Baylor football had under Art Bryles and even a little bit before him. Baylor basketball I, with dealing with like a, like a murder case when Scott Drew got there. They hadn't won 47% of their games as a program before Scott Drew got there. He took over one of the most nothing programs in college basketball and not just built it into you know a 500 team, a, you know three out of five years NCAA tournament team, a pretty perennial top of the Big 12 team and a national championship program. They won it a couple of years ago, beat Gonzaga for the title. He did that, so I can understand maybe like, okay, yeah, I've made Baylor my own. This is my first opportunity. They were loyal to me. 
Um, but but I've made this place my own. But still, Baylor will never come close to being the caliber of job that Kentucky is. Not even NIL either. Not NIL, not Mm-mm. not talent acquisition, Mm-mm. not name brand, not prestige, not following, not fan base, right. not clout, any of that. Baylor will never rival Kentucky. And yet he told Kentucky no. Scott Drew feels a little Mark Few-esque to me, where he's built his thing in his neighborhood, is proud of it, and is happy and is going to stay there. Mr. Rogers? But Strick just, something like that, sure. <laughs> he's but, the Mr. Rogers of the Big 12. <laughs> sure, I'll It's that. a beautiful yeah. day in, in the, the neighborhood. neighborhood. A beautiful in day in the neighborhood. neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be, be mine? mine? <laughs> he's... <laughs> He puts on. He walks into Baylor every day and sits in his office and puts on the coat and I mean puts on the sweater, the slippers, slippers, the sweater. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's him. I can see it. I can see it. Um, but this is now two of the bluest blood programs that have gone through coaching searches with Alabama football after Nick Saban and Kentucky basketball after John Calipari, and people have told them no. Our coaches viewing these jobs differently now than before because twenty years ago. I don't think anyone tells these jobs no. I, I I think that's a fact. But here's what's crazy, right? I think we we dug into the weeds a little bit and got a little understanding of why Calipari bounced. Mm-hmm. It was it was um, basically life perseverance, big time. It was I'm in the middle of this Hunger Games. Everybody is going for the knives and the and the arrows and the axes, but I need to bounce. I'm not. I'm not. It, 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 they're looking at me like I'm the one they're looking at, trying to 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 x off first. Let me head straight for the hideout spot and let everybody else. <laughs> I got friends waiting for me. Let me let me let me bounce real quick and mm-hmm. kind of go hide. If you watch the last Hunger Games, you would understand <laughs> what I'm saying. But. He was he was really it, it's it's kind of the same dynamic that I saw and and we've talked about with Nebraska basketball when assistant coaches have come here and they get to a point not not the ones we have now I think they're great but before that when they got here they would look for an un, they would get an understanding that it's a little bit more difficult with everything you got going to recruit here especially from other bases that you may feel comfortable with because you don't know, you don't know mm-hmm. the people, you don't know the place, you don't, un- you don't understand it. You didn't take time to understand it. You think that th- this isn't, this isn't going to be recruiting the Dallas. This isn't going to be recruiting to Orlando. This isn't going to be recruiting, you know, to others, other places. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand the people and the mindset and, and what they care about. And you really have to take time for that. But before the, the, the S can hit the fan, they bounce. Like they would, mm. they would shoot for another job. That's what Calipari did. Yeah. Now, in, in this instance, I have to agree with you, Austin. I really do, man. Because is it, is it, it is still considered premier. It has to be. It still yeah. is considered premier. But I think it's gotten to a point to where coaches now are saying, one, and they've watched other blueprints, like you said, Mark Few. They've watched other blueprints. I think about how long it took Jay Wright to get a title at Villanova. The work that you had to put in, an established thing that you have to do, with all the craziness of the wild, wild west of the day of college, you know, recruiting and sports, to go somewhere else and to rebuild on top of what someone left behind. Mm-hmm. And their tenure there, the history there, it's like, it's it's super double pressure. And then you watch guys like Shaka Smart, you know, have the success that they have in a mm-hmm. similar light. They right. built their thing, mm-hmm. established their thing, go to the big thing, and then two, three years, you're like, eh, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, any other thoughts? I'm not mad at Dan Hurley or Scott Drew for turning down Kentucky. Facts. I think it would be incredibly difficult to do. And maybe they're not even the ones having the conversation. Maybe they just have their agent tell Kentucky no. But I can respect a man who knows himself. 
what he's about and knows where he's best. Because isn't that what we're all going for in life, Strick, is trying to figure out where we fit in, how we fit in, what our strengths and our weaknesses are. I don't think Dan Hurley or Scott Drew are scared of the challenge at Kentucky. I think they're comfortable where they're at. And they might also have a sense that, yeah, I'm a better personality fit for this job. Could I challenge Mm. myself up there as a coach? Sure, I probably could. But I know I'm good at this. I know my support system. It's not about Mm -hmm. being lazy or not wanting to be challenged. It's being comfortable knowing that I'm a better personality fit here. These other factors are better for other people around me here. Someone's going to take the Kentucky job, and you're going to have to have ambition when you get to that job. You can't be satisfied ever when you're in that seat. But I don't think turning down the Kentucky job means Scott Drew or Dan Hurley are satisfied. They've accomplished enough. They're good where they're at. I think it means they're content. And I think there's a big difference between, you know, getting fat and sassy and just being comfortable in your bubble and being content with where you are saying, I have enough to do my job and I'm comfortable with where I'm at in a basketball sense and in a personal sense. Well, that contentment says that uh, Matt Norlander at Matt Norlander on Twitter um, said that one source on Hurley to Kentucky was that he was quoted as saying, they could offer twenty million a year, and he still wouldn't go. So, Sheesh. so that you know, you know, then it's it's not about money. You, mm-hmm. we we know that, um, per some sources as well, that he's looking to get a bump, mm-hmm. deservedly so. Yes, when you win two back to backs, you you deservedly are should get that. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the meantime, in between time. I think you're right because we've talked about this as far as a player's perspective. When, um, gosh darn it, what's his name that was the quarterback in New York, New York, the Jets, uh, before Aaron Rodgers came? Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Yep. We talked about Zach Wilson and how just just think of possibly how much better Zach Wilson may have been if he would have went to Denver. Yeah. Um. If he would have went to Vegas, maybe even Vegas, mm-hmm. maybe Arizona, Seattle, San Francisco, yeah. because he's familiar, mm-hmm. he's comfortable, he has support, mm-hmm. and going up to the dogs and the wolves and the and the tigers and the lions and the bears, oh my, <laughs> of of that northeastern sector, mm-hmm. when you have a you know way of living and doing and communicating and. And having to be thrown into that fire, it can it can it can do some things to you. And so I can understand someone who's Hurley, as you said, who's a northeastern guy. You communicate a certain way. You have a certain way of doing things. You're comfortable. Um, that's what you know. You're surrounded by that type of element and love. Mm-hmm. And then have to go down. Now going south is totally different. Mm-hmm. You know. The way you talk, the way you walk, the way you handle things, you know, your gestures may be considered uh, negative, but you know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's, yeah. It, yeah. it's like that in country. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just saying that to say I can understand. Mm-hmm. I, I get it. Sometimes it's not always about the money. I can say I turned down just because of not not being content. Um, worst franchise I thought at the time was the Memphis, uh, not Memphis, Vancouver. it was Vancouver. Yeah. And just how miserable I was. And I gave away almost $6 million just because I was miserable and had the best career time of my life, greatest run of going to farthest ever in my career to a conference final mm. playing with Boston. Right. Just on a veteran minimum deal. Mm. Now, I would say I wouldn't do it again. You don't ever give away the money. Just figure out a way to get there. <laughs> with the money. With the money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wouldn't do that again, but you understand. So mm-hmm. I, can, I get it. It's not yeah. always sometimes about money. Curious to see who ends up taking that job. I think Kentucky is still trying for Billy Donovan, but I'm with you. I think that NBA appeal is going to be pretty pretty tough to, to dissuade him from. Is Sean Miller next on the list? Is Tommy Lloyd next on the list? Bruce Pearl, it remains to be seen. We will definitely keep monitoring this situation and see what it means for Kentucky, who's still searching just like Alabama football was. We'll take a break. When we get back, we'll uh, do a modified shootout with Strick. We'll just ask Stricky the tiebreaker question. 
uh, first person on the comment section of our streams, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter to go over or under. We got some giveaways today. Too. We do, and some Lincoln Stars tickets for tomorrow's uh, home finale, I believe, will be given away in hour two. We'll take a break, wrap up hour one of On the Block here in just a couple minutes. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Hey, Nebraska, register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi-Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Played Against Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Played Against Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Played Against Sports at 48th and Vine. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Heating and electrical. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Homeowners, is your yard in distress? Is your lawn being held hostage by stubborn and unruly weeds? Never fear, lawn lovers. Weed Man is here. We'll rescue your lawn and restore its beautiful emerald green glory. The results of our expertly applied program are sure to impress the toughest of critics, your neighbors. Take that, Dale. Vanquish weeds and transform your lawn this year with Weedman Lawn Care. Get 50% off your first application. Go to Weedman.com today. Terms and conditions apply. Go to Weedman.com today. It's officially one of the greatest weeks of the year on the sports calendar. Masters Week. Book your tee time today with friends, family, or coworkers at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Doors open at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll have food directly from Augusta National, like pimento cheese sandwiches, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn, and lots more. Plus, specialty drinks to get you in the mood for the greatest golf tournament in the world. Book a bay today at DoubleEagle.Golf. School tells you all about the Four Seasons. Spring, summer, and so on. And then there's a way we really tell what time of year it is. Sports seasons, football season, baseball season, or even off season. Well, what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now, of course. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated, it's time for the chocolate season, y'all. 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. See you there.
Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. It's the best time of the year to order a new John Deere sprayer during Landmark Implement's Fast Start Early Order Program. Leverage the industry's latest technology with Sea and Spray to target weeds in season in corn and soybeans and use less herbicide per acre. Utilize Exact Apply to save in chemical usage and prevent over-application. Now is the time to lock in the best price of the year during Landmark Implement's Fast Start Early Order Program. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. One segment to go in this stream-only hour of On the Block. Stricky working it out over there. Are you any less sore than yesterday? Yes, sir. Feeling better? Good. Yes, sir. Good. I, hey, listen, I got home. Um, I put my feet up, had me a stove at the crib. I didn't mm. go. I, I, listen, I was sore yesterday. <laughs> um, and then washed me a couple things, got in the shower, and I went to bed at like 9 something, Woo! 30. I was out. And I'm so glad I did because it just really allowed my body. <laughs> I was walking around here real <laughs> like I was. Uh, I didn't see much bend in your knees. It was not much movement. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling. But so I feel better today, for sure. Good. Um, we're giving away 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings right now. I we're didn't doing go to the it. gym either. Ooh. I yeah. missed it. That's all right. Get it's it back. good to have a day off. Yeah, everyone needs one. Although, some people might say you're load managing. <laughs> Strakey. No. Be careful. Be careful, Strakey. They, Be they, careful. Boy, they will throw that one on you, won't they? Be careful. No. No, I'm 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 good. I'm I knew I had to pack and do all this, mm. this, this, this stuff. Oh, that's right. You're leaving me tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow, but I'll be, I'll be on. But you I, will be. But listen, yeah. guess what, though? What's tricky? WTF will be back tonight. No, no supernovas tonight. It's been a minute. We, it's a True. couple of weeks. So shout out to all the uh, WTF fans and, and listeners. We're going to be back. Cluster and I will be tapping in. I'll be at the airport, but I'll still be tapped in six or seven tonight. Mm. WTF, check it out. There we go. Stay tuned for that. But we need you to be the first in with the answer, over or under. Those are your two options here. Uh, I guess you could push as well. So over, under, or push. If you push, you should get double. If sure, you push, sure. if you push, if you, you get push, 60. you should get sure. double. Why not? Okay. The 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings on the line, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter comment sections open available for you. Over or under, Strix number, the answer to this question. How many shots has Victor Wembanyama blocked this season? Ooh. How many shots has Victor Wembanyama, rookie for the Spurs, blocked this season? The whole season. Whole season. 82 games. Uh, they're through 79 or 80 games right now. Mm -hmm. so. 178. Stricky says 178. Over or under? Let us know on the stream, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter. Uh, first person in with the correct answer over, under, or push gets 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings. Big thanks to Debco for sponsoring the show. Thanks to Buffalo Wings and Rings for sponsoring the shootout with Strick. We got Lincoln Stars tickets to give away in our number two of the show. 
We'll be talking a lot of college football as we turn the page to our number two of today's show. Where do Big Ten teams rank, according to some experts, in their recruiting potential? We'll go through the all the, the former Power Five teams, uh, get the Big Ten standings here, and then uh, Ohio State and Alabama have their spring games this weekend and uh, which college football teams have the most returning starters. Some interesting numbers to go through there. Get your answer in, over, under, or push. 178 blocks for Victor Wembanyama if you want 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings. Then come back with us for Hour 2 of On the Block. Your path take you, traveler, to seek fortune in a new career, or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation. Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects, and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals and everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Go Hog Wild Pit Barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hog Wild do the cooking. Hog Wild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. The need in our community if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. NEPCO is hiring CDL drivers for ready-mixed concrete, Husker concrete, and Beatrice concrete. NEPCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEPCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. 
Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea. Formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here. School basketball coaching legend and do basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, on air and online at theticketfm.com. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. Yes, we're back on the block. Strick and Austin, we are on the stream, stream only today, but you still can take advantage of the Sutter Heyman text line if you decide to join in on the conversation or on the stream. You can also tap in there to have a little bit of understanding. Augie, we thank you for uh, chiming in on the stream as far as the question that was put out, and we're definitely going to uh, give that answer. But um, I wanted to just prepare you as well because the Sutter Heyman text line is also open, 402-464-5685. Uh, if you want to, by way of text, to join into the conversation, you can do so by there as well. Thank you to Nebco for their continued support of On the Block, as well as the time that we spend here on the ticket um, at 93.7. Uh, you can go to the, uh, the, the, the basically the uh, dot com if you want to get all of the content from previous shows, shows of the day. All of that can be done there as well. Kansas City Rolls are still balling. Still balling. Still balling. 10 to 3 he's, he's, in the sixth he's, inning. He's, Vinny he's, Pasquantino, 7 for 8 the last two days with, I believe, now 8 RBI. He, he's, he's, How about that? he's wearing all of the uh, Kansas City gear. You see he's representing if you're on stream. You know I repped it all last year, too. You did. So I'm you, not you're, just you're, you're not a fair way. weather. No. You're not a fair I've been here. I've been here. Join me, Royals fans. Join me. See, First he, person in that says they're a Royals fan on the text line, get four Lincoln tickets? Stars tickets. Ooh. It, here's, for tomorrow <laughs> here's the other thing he's 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 politicking and petitioning for new stadiums and all of that I am. he true. wants to join in at the hip with kansas city uh chiefs and all of the wonderful work that they're doing down there they want the new stadium built expeditiously and right now but we're going to talk about a topic um of discussion college football recruiting uh, in the rankings we're going to go into which power four schools based on what they have going on, what they have returning, all of these, these different metrics that um, they have with those, um, which programs sign the best and the worst classes, all of those different things will be taken into account, the highest potential, um, and um, which recruits are best suited for what they have moving forward. We're going to talk about that. But we're going to let Austin go buck wild and nuts right now in this discussion, and you can also go buck wild and nuts in the stream tell us about this 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 whole process and how they came about how does it play out and you know what do you think you can get out of this you know these metrics if you're someone who loves a team supports a team is excited about your team it's future prospects mm -hmm. because we know something's coming along 
that a lot of universities are going to be absolutely excited about, and that's mm -hmm. the extended college football playoff. Right. So this isn't necessarily scientific. It, it's kind of individual. You know, they asked a, a panel of writers and recruiting insiders to rank the 70 teams that were in the Power Five conferences last year. So Oregon State and Washington State are included. Spoiler alert, they're at the bottom, like the very bottom of the 70 team list. And they didn't so get into a super conference. They did. They barely got into any ACC. conference. <laughs> right. So this is a subjective list compiled by, I think, seven or eight different you know writers from The Athletic. They didn't ignore they the NIL either. Did not ignore the NIL, did not ignore history, did not ignore location. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the Big Ten before we, ah, we get on to the like, national like perspective. Talking. Who do you think, Stricky, which school do you think has the best recruiting potential in the Big Ten? Oh, come. Is, is, it, is that a question? The new Big Ten as well. Is that a question? It is a question. Ohio State, bro. It is Ohio gotta State. Be. Yep. Gotta be. Yep. They're number two. Uh, number two. Behind who? Who do you think? It can't be Alabama because it is not kinda, Alabama. They kind of got scuttled by your boy leaving. Saban gone. Your boy. My boy. Yep. Um, Jay's it's boy. gotta, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a uh, Kirby. It is Kirby. It's the dogs. Be. It's gotta be at number one, Ohio state at number two. Any guess on who the second highest ranked big 10 school would be for terms of recruiting potential. New big 10, new big 10. It's gotta be USC. It is not USC Stricky. Wow. It's Oregon. Ooh, Oregon. How about that? Okay. Here's that the rationale for Oregon at number six. Few programs nationally have more momentum than Oregon. They're a perennial high floor team, despite having four different head coaches since 2010. They, wait, wait, right. I want to stay on that because they said they're a perennial high floor. Are they, is Oregon one of the more disappointing universities in that they have what you consider to be a high floor, but just continuously comes up short? Oregon feels a little bit like Clemson to me. Okay. Where they always get there. They're always in yeah. the conversation. They just haven't been able to, to push it, you know, like last to year, that just next Washington level. just totally dis decimated them twice. Right. So, gave them that work. Okay. so Oregon has gone 12 and two, 10 and three, 10 and four, four and three, 12 and two, nine and four, seven and six, four and eight, nine and four, 13 and two, 11 and two, 12 and one, 12 and two. There's a lot of them too. 12 and one, 10 and three. It's in either the last USC. It's either US. Somebody clips them. It's either Utah, USC. Typically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. usually gets them. Yeah. Okay. So Oregon's just usually a game away from making it to the next level. Of course, they played for a national championship game, um, ended up losing that to, to Cam Newton and Auburn. Okay. Um, so that's why they're apparently, according to this, this panel, the second highest ceiling recruiting team in the Big Ten. USC, your guess is just a couple spots behind them at number eight. Then it gets interesting. Michigan at number 12. Okay, maybe seems a little low for a blue blood, but it's cold. Harbaugh is, is gone at this point, so it's understandable. Penn State at 18. So there's your top five. Ohio State, Oregon, USC, Michigan, Penn State, all in the top 20. Who do you think the next Big Ten team would be in terms of recruiting potential? After Michigan? After Michigan. After Penn State, you mean? No. Uh, after Penn State, yes. Yeah, sorry. After Penn State. In the Big five. Ten. In the Big Ten. In the new Big Ten. Did we already say USC? Yes. USC is number three okay. in the Big Ten, number eight overall. Um, don't say it's Iowa. It is not Iowa. Iowa is smack dab in the middle of the 70 teams at number 35. Um, don't say it's Minnesota. It is not Minnesota. They're further down. Dang. Nebraska. Them skurs, Chicky. Hey! Them skurs. The skurs. The skurs. Wow. After Penn State? Mm-hmm. Wow. Three that spots behind Penn State. Here's wow. the rationale from The Athletic. The Cornhuskers have been a top 25 recruiting program for the majority of the past decade. They have a rabid fan base with strong NIL support and a competent coach with a strong track record in Matt Rule. Winning the Dylan Raiola sweepstakes was critical and adding star talent like that will help complement Rule's strong track record for evaluation and development. We mentioned this was a, a compilation of ratings, right? 
the highest Nebraska was ranked was number 19. The lowest Nebraska was ranked was 27. Mm. Last year in the same exercise, Nebraska was ranked 26th. So in one year under Matt Rule, Nebraska has moved up from 26 to 21 in the eyes of national kind of recruiting insiders and reporters. That's a pretty good jump in just one year. And I think it has more to do than just the Dylan Riola sweepstakes. Okay. I can respect that. Um, I will say there's one that throws me for the loop. Which is? I'm gonna let you I'm I'm gonna let you speculate because there's one in the SEC that's literally throwing me for the loop. And I'm trying to understand it. Help me help you. Who who do you think that is? Um SEC, SEC. No, not SEC. ACC. ACC? Uh throwing me for the loop. I'm mentally I'm mentally I, 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 combobulated right now. And is it one of the top two? It's 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 one that I'm still kind of like I I I how how help me the U the U the U how are they that high? That high, by the way, is number seven. For those of you who are curious, help here's me. here's the rationale. Mario Cristobal has signed back to back top seven classes, I don't give even a though God. the Hurricanes have lost more games than they've won <laughs> since he arrived. Um, nobody needs to remind you that Miami, a five-time national champion, um, has never won an ACC title, has never won an ACC title, and has just won 10-win season since 2004. That part. But that there's part. a reason the Canes are signing top 10 recruiting classes. The talent in and around South Florida always makes the U a threat, and there's real money behind this upward push. The highest vote for Miami was number five, but the lowest was 20. There's a big difference between being top 10 in being top 20 in recruiting in terms of talent, in terms of available resources. Yeah. Miami should be top five pretty much all the time, but the support isn't always there. It's a, you know, this trick Miami's a pro sports town mm. more than a college sports town fan base. Isn't quite there. Sorry, Jay and the Foreman family. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not there as consistently as a lot of other college towns. Miami should be a lot better than it has been recently. So I can see where their ceiling is top 10. Their but on-field results that haven't been have top 25. have not shown it to me. That's why I was looking at I was like, what? Aye, aye, aye. What? what? <laughs> like, yeah. that one threw me for the major loop. Now, here's one that I'm actually surprised by. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is an SEC team. Okay. I'm surprised when I saw this SEC team where they were. Can you tell me who it is? Um, Oklahoma. No. One, two more guesses. Uh, Bama at five? No. Hmm. Uh, Tennessee? Hometown Stricky. Auburn. Auburn. Okay. I'm surprised. They're, they're top 50. 13. Top, I'm surprised. Ooh. Help me. Help me. Okay. Now, even more, like, I'm surprised at that. I can understand the other one, which still surprised me to a, to a, to a T. And that's Texas A&M. Yeah, top 10. I, I, I okay, I, <laughs> help. I don't understand it, but uh, okay, I can get it. Because Money they, and location. Brought, Money, Money and location, location brought, they got yeah. what they got. But Auburn's kind of throwing me a little bit. Now, help me, help me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm break with, that down with just, you. Just on a personal aspect, as I look at Auburn, it's an SEC school. Location is okay. Not, not the best, not the right. worst. It's fine. You got avenues to get talent. But the year to year, you know, consistency, I agree with the athletic here, hasn't been there. It's been up and down. Auburn's ceiling is all the way at the top. Right. The floor has been surprisingly low for the talent that Auburn should be able to get. Like, like Auburn's not a blue blood. Right. I don't think Auburn's particularly close to the blue blood conversation. Good program. But that's like a peak in a valley every five years. That, mm -hmm. that is a program that faces a lot of turmoil. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about how they ran Brian Harson out just a few years ago. I don't know if it's the location. I don't know if it's, you know, having to play little brother to Alabama. I don't know if it's the boosters or the region's trustees, whoever. Auburn, to me, Strick, has never felt 
stable and on solid ground for more than a few years at a time. I agree. I agree. There's just, there's not a lot of consistency yeah. that you see out of them. You see, you'll see them make a run and then lose four straight. Yeah. It's, it's, it's wild. Mm -hmm. Then you'll see them sometime go 10 and two and, and then five and seven, yeah, and six and it's, six. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, you know that I, I would say this is where the sec to me, well, there's, there's this is going to be a two part question. This is where I see the sec to me has a hodgepodge in the middle that has a lot of, um, crap shoots. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Like they, they're, they're the one time they're in there and they're, they're hitting the line seven, 11. They're hitting their point six, eight. You know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. hitting it. But then there's points in there when they're in there like craps, <laughs> snake eyes, 12, <laughs> you know, right. like, like it's a crap shoot with them, but that's in the middle. So mm -hmm. what I mean by that is one year LSU will hit, they'll dope pop. Mm -hmm. Then they'll, they'll be hot, but then they'll uh, yeah. fall off the map. Oh, miss kind of will. Uh, and then they'll just kind of fall. Did then you, you have trust Lane State. to get Ole Miss more consistent or not? Well, I, I thought, I mean, I think he could, but I just think it's a hard place. Yeah. Uh, you know, fair. I just think Oxford. it's a hard place. Mm -hmm. Oxford is a hard place for it to do it, especially in the SEC. Yeah. You'll have Missouri. Mm -hmm. That'll pop on the scene, change the landscape. And then you'll mm -hmm. have, then South Carolina will have all the hype. And then they'll, they'll be mediocre. And yeah. then Tennessee, you know, I mean, they have a lot of those. Highs, lows, highs, lows in the middle of the SEC. Mm -hmm. The consistency is at the top. Yeah, obviously Alabama, Georgia, um, and then they have that third that's similar to the to the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. You know, you you'll have Michigan, Ohio, Ohio State. State. I would even throw Penn State pretty consistently they, they, yeah, at number three. Yeah, they're they're consistently right there. Just can't. They're like yeah. the ones that they're like the ones that get to the third stage of the Himalayan, uh, <laughs> you know, of of Mount Everest. Mount Everest, yeah. And and uh, they're like, ah, uh, whew, it's tough to breathe up here. We don't have enough oxygen. We need to go back down. We'll try again next year. You know, they're like right. that, right? <laughs> don't don't ever reach the center, the, yeah. the the summit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, speaking, would you see, speaking a of big, Missouri, yeah, we asked Brian Munson about them on Monday because uh -huh. um, Nebraska has been in some battles with Missouri here in the Midwest. They're just three spots behind Nebraska at number twenty four. Which makes some sense. I think Missouri maybe has a little more direct access to talent with Kansas City, with St. Louis, what changed with that Chicago. Number? What changed that number? I, I think Daniel Elijah Drakewood. Oh, oh. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. We, yeah. we stole him. That's what sent us up a little bit higher. No, right. go ahead. But yeah, I mean, I think Missouri could have a higher ceiling in a vacuum, but I think it's easier for Nebraska to rise in the Big Ten than it is for Missouri to rise in the SEC. Good point. Is that fair? I think that's a fair statement. Um, I would say Nebraska even did better than what I expected because I think if they would have got into the special category, let me just say this. I think if Nebraska would have did what Nebraska basketball did on the football side of things, I think we would be having a total different discussion this mm. year as opposed to still kind of lying in wait, hoping. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think the hope meter would have went through the roof. Oh yeah. Because they were there. Mm -hmm. They were on the verge of a nine and what? Nine and three, eight and four. Yeah. Type. They were five and three entering November. Like they, mm -hmm. they, that could have happened, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, take out the, the fact that you did what you did in Northwestern. Am I right? They beat but, Northwestern, but it wasn't they, no, necessarily inspiring. No, that yeah, they beat them this year. That see, I'm still kind of hurt by what <laughs> that, taking that trip out now. But what I'm saying, like Minnesota had them, mm, oh. Iowa had them, yeah. Wisconsin had them, Maryland had them, Michigan State you played like garbage. Yeah, outside of mm -hmm. Mi Michigan, got your your tail beat, but who did? <laughs> right. Um, you didn't have to face P Penn State. Didn't I mean it was set right there for you. And you, mm -hmm. you, if they would have had that special season, I think, oof, just, just think of what they could have landed. Now I'll give them credit for the retention. Mm -hmm. I give them credit for the flipping Yep, on two top quarterbacks mm -hmm. and still keeping them engaged and interested. 
So I, 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 I'm, in, I'm still impressed. Text line and comment section. The Athletic has Nebraska at number 21. Is that fair in terms of highest recruiting potential ceiling? Let us know, 402-464-5685. Let's take a break. We might talk some more recruiting, but if not, we'll get into some spring games this weekend. Ohio State and Alabama both in the top five of these rankings. Which spring game are you more interested in seeing? Ryan Day with a hot seat? Kalen DeBoer, year one in the spring. See what they look like. Let us know. Are you more interested in watching Ohio State or Alabama this weekend? We'll break that down and plenty more next on The Block. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Hey, Nebraska! Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi-Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Again Sports at 48th and Vine. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Homeowners, is your yard in distress? Is your lawn being held hostage by stubborn and unruly weeds? Never fear, lawn lovers. Weed Man is here. We'll rescue your lawn and restore its beautiful emerald green glory. The results of our expertly applied program are sure to impress the toughest of critics, your neighbors. Take that, Dale. Vanquish weeds and transform your lawn this year with Weedman Lawn Care. Get 50% off your first application. Go to Weedman.com today. Terms and conditions apply. Go to Weedman.com today. It's officially one of the greatest weeks of the year on the sports calendar. Masters Week. Book your tee time today with friends, family, or coworkers at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Doors open at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll have food directly from Augusta National, like pimento cheese sandwiches, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn, and lots more. Plus specialty drinks to get you in the mood for the greatest golf tournament in the world. Book a bay today at DoubleEagle.Golf. School tells you all about the Four Seasons. Spring, summer, and so on. And then there's a way we really tell what time of year it is. Sports seasons, football season, baseball season, or even off season. Well, what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now, of course. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated, it's time for the chocolate season, y'all. 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. See you there. 
Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. It's the best time of the year to order a new John Deere sprayer during Landmark Implements' Fast Start Early Order Program. Leverage the industry's latest technology with Sea and Spray to target weeds in season in corn and soybeans and use less herbicide per acre. Utilize Exact Apply to save in chemical usage and prevent over-application. Now is the time to lock in the best price of the year during Landmark Implements' Fast Start Early Order Program. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 tall boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects, and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals in everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street, or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Go Hog Wild Pit Barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hog Wild do the cooking. Hog Wild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. The need in our community if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. NEPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEPCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 13-3 Royals, top of the eighth. Boys stay hot. Going to give you score updates all the time just because I'm loving this. Loving having the Royals back on our <laughs> airwaves. Appreciate y'all. 
166 of you right now tapped in here on the stream with us, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, as well as Allo Channel 961. You want to thank Nebco for sponsoring the show. Uh, Nebco is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete. Apply today and start your career with a $2,500 hiring bonus, as well as great pay, medical and retirement benefits, pay time off, and they pay for your CDL training. Visit nebcoinc.com or readymixedconcrete.com. Tricky. We're still a few weeks out from the Nebraska football spring game. I guess, you know, two weeks and a couple days. Uh -huh. The 27th, we'll be here at our studio for pregame for that. But Ohio State and Alabama are two programs that have their spring games this weekend. Yeah. Let's say you only have the ability to watch one or the other. Would you be more interested in watching the Ohio State spring game or the Alabama spring game? And why? Um, okay, so you have two dynamics. One, you probably have Ryan Day sitting on a, on a, on a hot potato hot seat. And... Um, with, with an entering of of m more teams to compete with that king of the throne in the Big Ten, mm -hmm. and you have just a new regime takeover with DeBoer taking over, mm -hmm. and I, I would probably say, I mean, you know, you got your quarterback back, but then you know you're dealing with a potential new quarterback at Ohio State, possibly, right? Is, is, is he, uh, so he they got back? Will Howard as a transfer, okay, so but they, he's being pushed by Devin Brown, who did play in the bowl game last season. Okay, so you have a quarterback to, uh, battle, whereas Milton did return. So those are interesting dynamics. I think... Milrow. Milrow, yeah. yeah sorry. Um, Milrow. I think I would probably be more interested in watching Alabama because mm -hmm. I want to see if he's going to try to implement style there are they going to try to do some of the same thing what are some of the coaches what's the defense going to be like because it's usually been pretty you know st stringent mm -hmm. whereas in washington they really didn't have they've had a pretty porous defense i mean they were able to win games mm -hmm. mostly by their offensive power mm -hmm. um so what are they recruiting to mm. in alabama as, are you recruiting to what you're going to start seeing with, you know, Georgia right across the way, you know, power, Texas beat you Texas, last year. They're coming in. Ole, Ole Miss is going to you mm -hmm. know beat you up. They used to have like Judkins and guys like that. Uh, He's Texas, at Ohio State now, funny enough. I know. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. LSU, maybe. Yeah. See, Got to replace Jane Daniels, but. You just don't know, man. And, and so I'm interested to see what the style is going to look like. Do you think Caden Proctor plays in the Alabama spring game? The left tackle that bounced <laughs> to Iowa and bounced back? Probably. Would you play him if you were the coach? Mm, yeah. Yeah, because I'm new. If he wasn't new, maybe I'd be kind of a little mm -hmm. bit of shade on it. But He's been there before. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I would. I'm going to watch the Ohio State one. Why? The reason why is because I need to see if Ryan Day plans to make any changes. Not that you can tell a whole lot from a spring, but maybe you can sense some subtle dynamics. I'm going to watch the Ohio State spring game because I want to see which quarterback looks better. The veteran Will Howard or Devin Brown, who at last check was still wearing number 33 <laughs> as the quarterback, which is just kind of funny. He wasn't very good in the Cotton Bowl against Missouri, um, but the reports are. It's a legit competition in Columbus. You know, Will Howard, you would presume, was brought in to be the starter. You know, I'm sure they're paying him a pretty penny. But if Devin Brown has taken a step forward and is actually pushing Will Howard, I want to see what both those guys look like to see if Ohio State's going to spend all this money on Will Howard for a backup. Or if Will Howard does win the job, is Devin Brown out? Is he going portaling or is he willing to, to wait his turn? The biggest reasons, though, Caleb Downs, all freshman team uh, for the SEC last year at Alabama. He transfers to Ohio State and Jeremiah Smith, number one receiver recruit in the country. They're already putting out like mixtapes of him from practice. One handed catches, juking guys out of their shoes. There was a connection between Dylan Raiola and Jeremiah Smith there for a little bit. Obviously didn't end up getting Jeremiah Smith to Nebraska, but Ohio State is my preseason national title pick. I'll say that right now. 
on April 11th. Ohio State's my preseason national title pick. If you've seen and the I emoji, watch him. if you've seen the emoji of the 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 guy who's looking up at the ceiling with his mouth turned up, that was what I was doing on that. I'm not rolling. You're not rolling. I don't care why. I'm not even going to elaborate why. I'm because you're taking Georgia instead because you're basic. I'm basic. I'm basic. I'm taking Nebraska. There we go. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, Stricky. <laughs> Give it to me. I want more. Why are you taking Nebraska? No, no, no. <laughs> we're not there yet, my boy. <laughs> we're, um, okay. But I think we can make, I think we can, I think I'm looking for this year to, for Nebraska to make huge strides. Yeah. Just, just huge strides. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's good that we didn't have that special season that I was talking about last year. Maybe it's good because now it leaves room for something special to happen this year. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to see what this running game is going to look like, mm -hmm. you know, with power and speed. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to what this line's going to look like with the, with, with starting from the center out. Mm -hmm. um, depth now mm -hmm. in that position. Did we add enough depth on the defensive side? Or are we going with just the solid core with, the outside, the outside looked phenomenal. Outside of injuries, mm -hmm. it probably would have even been better. Yeah. What's the turnover now going to be on the on the linebacker, the next level? <sighs> um. So there's interest there for me as I'm watching just these 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 components and seeing if they're how they're going to play out and how they're going to look. Now I'm looking for growth. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for growth out of the receiving core. And what the newcomers are going to add, because it seems like there was additional depth that was added at the position that lacked that spark that Trey Palmer brought. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that. Right. But now I can't be mad because the quarterback situation, not that guys didn't get open, not that guys weren't able to, you know, blow the top off at times. We just weren't able to hit them right. with accuracy. Consistently. And this is where I, mm -hmm. this is where, you know, I think Riola, given time, Mm -hmm. will hopefully help. And that's why I'm hoping they're able to give them. The stat that I'm watching for Nebraska football when it comes to spring practice and the spring game is turnovers. Mm. Think yeah. about how often the offense oh. put the ball on the carpet. Yeah. I mean, the, the poorly timed interceptions at the end of the first half against Minnesota, the end of the game against Maryland we and, and Iowa. Right. If Who the do we need ROI on? What was that, sir? Who do we need ROI on? for I mean, the turnover bugs seriously jeff sims yeah. we need to we need to return on our investment we need that money back yeah, no i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> don't begrudge a young man his dollars we need that money back man we get that man that money 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 we need that money back all them yeah. turnovers you was giving them the memes were hilarious they were they were pretty good. I'm sorry. They were they're pretty good. They were pretty <laughs> the pretty memes good. Were hilarious. The, yeah. the the Jeff Sim turnovers. Yeah. Oh gosh. But, but it, it, it was like remember. it was the fumbles. It was the fumbles. Like it's been 20 years of fumbles for Nebraska football. Yeah, it's been bad, bro. And, and I think it was was it earlier this week or or last week we heard from Tony White and he said obviously, you know, forcing more turnovers is a focus we need for the defense. That comes to corners being just one step quicker, be we there, you know, dig. one step sooner. Mm -hmm. And then like you're saying Force more fun. Dig for gold. Mm. We need to dig for some gold, baby. Yeah, I'm talking about <laughs> if you got to go up and get it, go get it. We need, we need, we need to turn that turnover differential into our favor as yeah. we, we've been in the deficit. Mm -hmm. Like our economy. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, oh we got to get political. This is sports talk. Hey, now. God dang, we're in a deficit. But mm. the funny thing about me looking at turnovers is if the offense doesn't turn it over at all, that means the defense wasn't forcing any. And if the defense is forcing a lot, it means the offense is having problems. I don't know how we can accurately judge just how good the offense is at taking care of the ball or just how good the defense is at taking it away through spring. Because, right, if one's doing yeah. well, the other's doing poorly. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you want to balance, balance, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I agree with you. Um, I, do you like the format? With the, the three different teams? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. A lot of competing, a lot of reps. And it's live action. DP and Jay were talking about this a couple days ago now. Um, like, what, what makes someone a gamer? You know, like, they're just better when the lights come on. Matt Rule says his group is at its best when they're competing. If you can find ways to get those guys in, you know, game-like situations, 
good on good as often as you can get it. Matchups that are going to make these guys better. Drills are one thing. You got to hone the fundamentals. You can't ever get tired of, of you know drilling down on the little things. But if this is a, a group that needs a little bit of that competitive fire that is at its best in competition, give them as much competition as they can handle so they don't shy away from it when the lights come on. My man. Well said. I feel like um, Denzel Washington in training day. You've taught me well, coach. Yeah. I feel like, uh, yeah. I feel like you, 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 you found one. Like I, I, I could be like Yoda. I could say, <laughs> uh, you are, you, how would Yoda's, he would say it backwards. Yoda's, yep. Yoda's wild. You say Yoda. do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> how about yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, there he is. You're, yeah, you're like my, my uh, one. pad one. I am. No, I'm just playing. We're don't make, don't even get the rat tail, though. It, no rat tails for no me. No rat tails? I'm not doing that. You yeah. can't make me. Yeah. He's Luke Skywalker, and I'm Yoda. So, um, You're, you're a little bigger than Yoda. You, you would take Yoda down to the post <laughs> any day of the week, Shrekie. Hey, Yoda's quick. Yoda might, Yoda's like Yoda, Yoda's like Muggsy Bogues. He might pull the chair out from under you yeah, he's, twice, he's, so he's, watch out for that. Yoda, Yoda's amazing. Got some hops, too. <laughs> he does got some spin hops. Huh? He does. He, he would do a few things uh, in, in the basketball court. I think his handle is uh, complete. Mm. But man, this is good. This has been good. How do you feel about it? Do, you know who who would you watch? Who would you feel like you would be more interested in watching on the stream or on the Sutter uh, Sutter Hammond text line? We got two? one. We got one. What you got? Byron says he'd rather watch Ohio State because the Chip Kelly factor. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's still so wild that he jumped from being a head coach to an assistant to offensive coordinator in the same conference. That's a great discussion. Real quick. Is that a situation, Austin, where you know a guy's on the hot seat, the pressure's not on you, you kind of lie in wait, and if something happens, if they lose to Michigan again or they fall to any one of the other newcomers, Mm -hmm. that Ohio State just says, you know what, It's, it's, it's time. Chip. You know what I'm how did you describe you think, how did you describe the move to Arkansas for John Calipari? Uh, life depri- uh, life uh, preservation. I think Chip Kelly did the same thing. UCLA was actively looking to get rid of him. We saw those reports. Mm-hmm. You know, for the last couple weeks of the season, it's oh, Chip Kelly's on his way out. They're trying to find the money for the buyout, and then they stuck around. They couldn't find the money. It's like okay, Chip, we'll run it back. You know Chip Kelly heard that. Mm-hmm. You know what was going on behind the scenes. So he said, okay, you guys want to get rid of me? I'll just bounce myself. I'll go to a place where there are higher expectations, but less individual pressure on me. Come on. Offense hasn't been the problem. Uh-huh. I don't have to deal with as much recruiting, mm-hmm. not as much with the parents, that not part. as much with NIL. Right. I just get to be a mad football genius. Take the players that you're giving me, Ryan Day, that you're giving me, Brian Hartline, Put him in the best position to succeed. Oh, and by the way, if we lose a game, guess who's next up? It's either your longtime receivers coach, who hasn't been a head coach before, or it's me, who's coaching a national championship game. I think it was a, a an entirely self-preservational move from Chip Kelly. My question is this. Do they play UCLA this year? I'm looking right now. I'm trying to figure it out. I, like, ooh, I would do it. I'm trying to see. Okay, they got Oregon, they got Michigan State, Iowa, Nebraska. They do not. Dang it! That would have been that would have been an interesting. But hey, listen, the schedule is not not in in you know. Hey, like if if you're Chip Kelly and you want to bounce, you know, okay, just say, okay, you you you're not gonna lose to Akron, you're not gonna lose to Western Michigan, you're not gonna lose to Marshall. Just say you come up short against Michigan State. You go, you you beat Iowa at home. Then you go out to Eugene and Oregon clips you. Then you again, you, you're Oregon's off. already beat him in Columbus. Facts. Then you come to Nebraska and get mop molly whopped. Nebraska goes to Columbus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But either yeah. way, yeah. We, we molly whop you. Yeah. We're just going to speak that. That's fair. And Pretty- then, then Penn State finally gets over the hump mm-hmm. in Death Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Gosh dang it. Death Valley's So many what? valleys. Death Valley's what? LSU. That's right. And Clemson. But Which one's LSU. Clemson? Okay. That's yeah. what I thought. Okay. Um, Happy Valley. Yeah. And then you got to play Michigan again. Like, say, what if Ohio State loses three games this year? 
Is he done? Oh, he's gone. It's a wrap. He's gone. Okay. I don't know if he should be, but I think he is. I was just interested when I was looking at that schedule. That was just mm-hmm. something that kind of piqued my interest right there. Now I'm gonna look up Oregon. That's why I'm like Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly, I think, is thinking. Uh, he's like, yeah, it's it's possible. It's possible we get it. Oregon has a really interesting schedule. They have Boise State and Oregon State in the non-conference. Um, UCLA, Michigan State, host Ohio State, Purdue, Illinois, at Michigan, host Maryland, go to Wisconsin, host Washington. They've actually got a schedule that they they could do something with. They're mm-hmm. ranked third in the country right now. Yeah. Coming in. Mm-hmm. They got something they can do something with. They do. So that's going to be interesting. Better trains for quarterback Dylan Gabriel at Oregon or Will Howard at Ohio State? Why would Dylan Gabriel leave Oklahoma to go to Oregon? I get it because he saw Bo Nix and he's a West Coast putting, guy. Well, they're putting him Hawaii on billboards guy. and they're, yeah. let's be honest, you know, you, you got to look at that. I'm trying to get into that conversation if mm-hmm. I want to go to the next level. Yeah. How high does Bo Nix go in the draft? Second round, third round? Second, third? Second, third. He's a does, day two guy. Does, does your boy uh, from Michigan? My boy. Your boy. My boy from Michigan. From Michigan. Quarterback. JJ McCarthy. JJ McCarthy. Does he go before Drek May? He does not. Mm. He better not. There's a lot of conversation about it right now. There is. I think it's a smoke screen. Smoke screen? I think. Just trying to just trying to throw people off so you don't I think. Is anybody dra- moving up the draft to get a lot of people are right now thinking that your boy, your boy, my Caleb, boy again. Caleb. <laughs> Why are Caleb they not my boys? <laughs> <laughs> Caleb Williams will be one of the biggest busts since um um the big fella. To Marcus Russell? No, he was the worst. <laughs> Next to him. Um Ryan Leaf. Oh, boy. They think he's on par. Mm. You don't think so? No. They think he's going to be a big bust. They think, actually, he's he's sensitive like Ralph Tresvant. I buy it. They think he's just overly, like, he's just not built for it. Caught in the feels a little bit. He's not built for it. Yeah, he's, mm. not, he's not built for it. I don't know. We'll see. Just a couple weeks away from the draft. Yeah, it's coming up. It's moving on us. Yeah, Let's take a break. Let's cross it over with old school. We're wrapping up on the block next is hiring with their fast-paced growing culture they have hundreds of new openings in sales marketing traveling support software development web design and more full-time roles offer a four and a half day work week along with flexible internships in most areas career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in lincoln nebraska find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. (gasps) The Mill Coffee and Tea. Formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. (sighs) The Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. 
Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Unearth the secret to long lasting tires at Treads Central Tire Pros, a league apart in commitment, service, and expertise. This isn't just about rubber meeting the road, but trust, safety, and surety converging in perfect harmony. This is where expectations are exceeded every time. Make your appointment today at Treads Central Tire Pros, just south of Cortland on Highway 77 or visit our website to explore our services. Remember, when it comes to tires, choose Tread Central Tire Pros because we tread differently. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey, Nebraska. Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. If you've experienced a sports injury, joint, or back pain, trust your care to Nebraska Orthopedic Center, a proud platinum partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Hi, my name is Molly Party. I'm a realtor with MP Dodge Real Estate. I'm a newly licensed agent and considered numerous brokerages before deciding on MP Dodge. I chose the company that gives me the most support in my new career, plus guidance and encouragement along the way. MP Dodge has a unique mentoring program for new agents. It's helped jumpstart my career and has a supportive management team and administrative staff. So if you're contemplating a career in real estate, look no further than MP Dodge. It will be the best decision you make. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Hello. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. One segment left to go here during On the Block. This is the crossover with Old School. Austin Norman, Eric Strickland from On the Block, joined by Jay Foreman from Old School. Strick, he sees something. He sees someone out there. Look at that. <laughs> What did you see this time? Uh, Who was it? Yeah, I don't know. There's a little property over there. Me and Jay need to look in. Yeah, so we need we need to bring kabooms back, Jay. <laughs> I look. I took him there. You see his mind? You see the smile yeah, on his yeah, face? He remember he, that thing. That thing reminisce. That thing hit. <laughs> yeah, it did, man. Yeah. Jay, we have a good question out here. I mean, I I think the I think the uh, southeast and the uh, Big Ten question is a pretty good one for Jay. You know, just yeah. get his thoughts. 
Ohio State and Alabama have their spring games this weekend. You can only watch one. Which one are you watching? Mm, and why? Oh, I'm probably watching Ohio State. Oh, my God. Yeah, without Here a we doubt. go. Without a doubt. Alabama. That's his one. That's it. Every time we start talking about football, the man got to bring Ohio State out the box. That's his one. That's his no, one. I'm Ohio Bama, State. No, Bama, Ohio Bama. State. I'm Bama. <laughs> You don't. He don't know. He has no clue what I'm what I'm doing right. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that, that's I, the thing that I, I want to do. Yeah. I want to do that on purpose because yeah. Austin's looking over here like, um, what is he? Only reason I say I'm like not going along for the ride over here. <laughs> Ohio State is just because of the, you know they had a really good off season. They got Jeremiah Smith, that receiver that they was like he just went for like three fifty last Saturday against them. And I want to see you know. What's Caleb Downs, new? yeah, what, yeah, Caleb Downs. But I want to see what what it's like when Ryan Day is is not calling the plays. And you know, you went from Bill O'Brien, and then obviously, uh, you had Hartline and all that. But you know, you got some changes that they have, and they got continuity. And then they've had it. They went from Ohio State went from okay, the the bottom falling out. Ryan Day was going to the NFL. Couldn't Cam Ward was there, then he was gone. McCord left. Don't have a quarterback now. You do. You got Will Howard, and you get you know a couple other quarterbacks that are freshmen. And then everybody decides to come back. You went from everybody hates Ryan Day to everybody loves Ohio State and Ryan Day. Alabama, without Nick Saban, is different. Mm. It's different. As much, and, and That's I, why it, I said I was interested, Jay, because I was looking at it from a standpoint of what, what is he going to do? Like, is he going to try to bring Washington style into the SEC? Yeah. I want to know they had a porous defense where a Stapleton of – Alabama has it's been gone. the defensive side. Yeah. What's he going to do? What type of coaches is he going to bring? What, you know, what did he recruit for? Is he relying on what he had there? Is he going to, that's why I was interested. I want to see if he was going to change the system or try to implement a, a style that worked well in the Pac-12. Yeah. Down in the SEC. So that's what I was interested. Do. And, you know, the quarterback that he had, Michael Penix Jr. versus uh, Milrow, Milrow. Is, is two different, two right. totally two different skill sets. For me, with Alabama, a team like Alabama, when I'm thinking when I'm thinking the SEC right now, I'm thinking Georgia and Ole Miss, Ooh. right? Tennessee, Missouri. Ooh. Alabama's not a without wow. Nick Saban's not on my radar. So you think they fall down, it, the, down the total? Ball. And they might. And I think he's a great coach. I think he'll do well. But I think it, it's going to be a transition for him. You got to think he 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 went to Washington from Fresno State. He did. That, that's West Coast offense. Like you dealing Facts. with some hard heads down there. Like my mom says, <laughs> the boys grow a whole even, different. Pinto beans, they just strong for no reason. Mm -hmm. So why you think streaky? Like, that's where I came from, Jay. I know you from Aqualapa. I didn't even Aqualapa. <laughs> Where's it called? For a long time, what, I didn't no, even lift weights. Opalaka. Opalaka. I knew it was something like that. Yeah. But, Opalaka. Opalaka. Uh, I had it. I had it in You're my right mind. There. I had it in my mind. My, but when I said it, it didn't work out well. But I think his roster is going to constantly be in transition until fall camp start ah. because of you're going to see some guys leave Jump out mm -hmm. and then you're going to see guys come in so what we see in the spring game come saturday isn't even going to be close to what what the reality is mm. versus ohio state you're gonna be like yeah these they, they, they can beat michigan this year yeah that you know henderson and and the running back yeah they're they, they gonna be trouble so i'm looking at what they're gonna do if they can really separate themselves because this is the year that they got to dominate you got Washington coming in with just at least a winning tradition. Coach Jed Fish is good. Oregon, right? You got to face them, too. Yeah, well, you got Smiley Dan Dan Lanning coming in. You think, you know, said he don't like clicks, but he's steadily on the internet. They got to go out to Eugene, too. And then they got US, USC and UCLA, right? So you, you got to think. Ohio State's more of a player in the big scheme of things because of the Big Ten and the additions versus Alabama. Even though they got there in the, in the college football playoffs, it's Georgia's are going to be on a mission. Let, let me ask you this: <clears throat> It's twofold. Did Chip Kelly sneak off into the Midwest, lying in wait because if for whatever reason, no, Ryan Day loses three games, is he in or out? He might be for if Ryan Day loses three games this year, Chip Kelly be the in, in, interim, but he ain't the head coach. Mm -hmm. Oh, like he ain't never gonna be the head yeah. coach. Oh, okay. Chip, Chip Kelly doesn't have the personality for it. See, I thought Not maybe he dipped in there just kind of lying in the he cut. Doesn't, he doesn't have the personality for Ohio State. 
okay. Would there he be go. a better Ohio State head football coach or Kentucky basketball head coach? That job's still open. Too. He need to go to Kentucky. <laughs> you know, I know why he'd be a good Kentucky head coach. Why? Because Eric Spolster went up there and learned his spread offense, and then and then the knew, uh, Miami Heat won two in a row. So take that, take that. Maybe he starts calling basketball plays, and then he just do that. He'll be all right. There he knows go. how to spread the floor. He knows about spacing. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, that be getting some, getting right. some, like you say, some butt naked threes. They'll be getting some shots if right. he's doing it. Right. And Since then he's after, green. then after that, give Chip Kelly sit back. You know, he was clock. he was supposed to? Did Spolster make the one of the greatest moves of all time. What was that? Having a conversation with the management, having a conversation with management, holding off on the paperwork, then the paperwork oh, hit. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, he, yeah. I mean, oh, that's, 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 that's one of the greatest power moves ever. That's, that's Pat Riley. When you family with Pat Riley, Pat Riley is, is my the yeah. best. Listen, the best story about Pat Riley <laughs> is funny. They said when LeBron left, he came down in the meeting and said, listen, y'all need to get over it. The king is gone. Get it good, what you because so they he told the players they weren't allowed to be nice. Talk to LeBron. <laughs> Pat Riley is gangster. He said, Listen, either you Miami Heat or you dead to me. Uh, mm-hmm. Which means you're on the trading block immediately. Yeah, I mean, if you ain't in the Heat locker room, and then everybody's the enemy. So, yeah, of course, uh, he probably took care. Look, Eric Spolstra I love it. is, I think is Pat Riley, is Pat Riley 2.0. Bang. He, 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 I mean, he is. You, yeah. when you look. When you think about Pat Riley, if you go back and how he came Look up, the story. Same mm-hmm. with Eric Spolster. Pat Riley was in the cutty cut. Like Pat Riley was on the outs looking in before anything happened. Yeah, he almost. I mean, mm-hmm. essentially, he was going to lose his. Like, he was a he was a yeah. color an, analyst, yeah. and then um, you see the movie. You yeah, see the then show? He, yeah, then he just humbug and be an assistant coach. But yeah. I mean, but he was a great player though. Yeah. Um. And so the whole it. the whole thing with that, I mean, I think it was probably Eric Spolster. I mean, yeah, you know, those, those, those type of person, those personal things, he can go up and probably talk to them. But, you know, the one thing, take that out of it, which is was probably just they knew or whatever. The best part about their organization is their coach, who's Eric Spolster, is easily top four coach in the NBA. I mean, it's pop, no doubt. It's both, and no I, and doubt. He, yeah, right. But in most organizations, as we know, is that he has the ability to go up and have a frank, clear, open, honest conversation with management and ownership. That's not that's normal. A, that's important. And, and it, it's important. It's important. Because, because then, you've talked about that on the football right. side. If it, you it, have it, any of these chain links right. that is broken. If it's broken, it's the lines that you talk yeah. about. You want guys to communicate. Yeah. Right? If you want your best coach, right, which is Eric Spolster, you want your best coach to be his best. He's got to be able to talk to you about mm-hmm. something that could affect his mental well-being and being able to do his job. Yes. Now, obviously, it didn't because he took him to the finals and all that other stuff. But you got to have that because then you want the players to be able to go to the the coach and and so forth and so you so you need that. There we go. Here it is. What's next? No, he's behind yeah, you. Behind Point the other you. way, yeah. other window. Yeah, he's behind you. Thirsty Thursday, <laughs> and then WTF? Full night of strikey ahead. Jay, what dude, else are we man. talking about? Yeah. We We're gonna talk about Kentucky after we get to get you know get a little free time. I mean, we we <laughs> all my little time is ate up, but it's all good. Well, we got love for you, Jay. Yeah, I we do, do too, man. We got I, one more day, baby. I, I'm just I I'm, I appreciate watching you enjoy Thirsty Thursday. Mm. I'm just not able to partake right now. <laughs> it's all good. That's all right. Thirsty I'll do Thursday. it for you. Yeah, and I won't pass the so Dutchie to the right hand side. I'll walk around. <laughs> that. I'll bypass the system. <laughs> First trick on Boston, don't go anywhere. Jay Foreman, old school, starts off with Thirsty Thursday next. Born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why, as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm 